Being in business isn't easy. It can be fraught with challenges. So as salon owners and managers, it's important to always be looking at ways to stay on top. You need to be proactively planning to ensure that your business continues to grow. Every salon owner should always be asking themselves what they are actively doing to grow their business. The people who do that, the people who take the opportunity to constantly be improving and refining their systems and business processes, will continue to go from strength to strength. So where do you start? Well, here's my seven key steps to help you stay on top. At number one, be flexible. Your business plan needs to be flexible and be able to change with the times. You need to step back and review your business goals, your staffing numbers, your training needs and budgets. You need to focus on the opportunities and not just the problems. At number two is the importance of always looking for ways to improve your productivity. Look at all the ways that you and your team spend their time. Finding one big way to improve productivity by 10% is difficult. But by looking at lots of small changes in many areas of your business, you can often achieve significant efficiency improvements. If you can involve your team in looking for ways to increase their productivity, you're more likely to get their buy-in and cooperation. Step number three is cut the fat. It's always prudent to keep overheads under control. So what can you do to reduce your overheads? This can apply to your people too. It's not always easy for small businesses to get rid of people, but in business, your team need to perform. And as difficult as it can be to do, there are times that for a whole range of reasons, you do have to get rid of people to protect the business and the remaining jobs that it creates. Then at number four, it's offer more and do it better. You are not your client, so it's essential that you understand what your client's real needs are and what your competitors offer. You may need to offer more than the competition to win the clients over. That doesn't mean charging less, it means offering more value and doing it better. I don't just mean doing the haircut or color better. I mean making sure the entire client experience is better from beginning to end. Step number five is understanding that cash is king. One of the main advantages that the salon business model has is cash flow, meaning that the client comes in and has a cut of color and they pay for it straight away. Good cash flow is essential, especially in the tough times. So make sure you know exactly what it costs to run your business every week. Use a cash flow budget to plan ahead and identify in advance where the cash flow risks are. For example, seasonal fluctuations or staff holidays, where the revenue you produce each week may be less but the costs of running the business will in all likelihood still be the same. And number six, it's important that you make everything earn its keep. How much cash is tied up in inventory? Many salons carry items that are not moving. That's cash that you can free up for your business. So focus on being efficient with your ordering systems. You never want to run out of a product, but you don't want to have excessive amounts of stock on the shelf that aren't moving either. And finally, at number seven, it's important that you reinvest into the business. The ultimate aim is not to survive, but to grow. And for that to happen, you need to be completely, constantly reinvesting in your training and marketing activities. So thank you for watching. And if you don't already subscribe to the Two Minute Salon Manager, you can do so by visiting growmysalonbusiness.com. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at growmysalonbusiness. Have a great week.